when we go to Castillo's Corner where they speak Spanish. Our interpreter is Ray Torres. Take some air. Don't, don't let him grow. Don't let him grow. Don't let him move so much. Come on, let's get the spit bucket here. We need to put the jab, double jab, and then the right hand. The straight right hand to the body. Double jab, and then the body. Yeah, we'll do the body to the head, double jab, body in the head. You see the right hand, you pull over the top of it. So it's double jab, pull it down. Keep fighting. Mayweather uncharacteristically deliberate in the first round. Indeed, the lightweight punch output averaged 66 punches per round. In the first round, Mayweather threw only 34 punches by CompuBox estimate. Castillo threw only 37. So it was a very cautious first round for both fighters. Mayweather's going to the body with the jab. That means he's going to try to come up and get closer with his left hook. <laughs> left jab to the body is good. That's the way you have some effect on the fight. Mayweather goes to the body, goes to the body. Constantly after three or four rounds, his opponents drop his hands just a little. George, in several of his fights, Mayweather's had trouble with his hands. Now, obviously, between fights, the hands heal. You come out of training and you think, well, all right, I'm fine, I have no pain. Can you completely keep it out of your mind in the fight? Not at all, because you don't get a chance to practice with the small gloves that he's, had, he's got on now. So his hands are going to get hurt, as usual. True for most fighters, right? Yeah. They heal all the way through training camp and then get hurt again. Three fights. And he's throwing a lot of wild shots to left hooks. All the things that hurt your hands. All right, all right, stop! And when a fighter sometimes tends to lower his head and bull in, as Castillo does, even more danger to the yeah. hands, right? Yeah, because you get a chance to hit him on top of the right head. On the top of the and that's where the punishment starts. The punishment on your hand. <laughs> right. Well, Mayweather's developing somewhat of a strategy. He's jabbing to the body. Good effect. Castillo sneaked in a low blow on the other side of referee Joe Cortez. Now, why all the grappling and clinching here, George? Both men have got equal, a lot of respect for one another, especially Mayweather. He doesn't want to get caught with any of those big shots. He tasted instantly, I guess, the first round, some of the power from Castillo. And you're not punching, hold on. Mayweather able to slip off the ropes and nail Castillo with the right hand. Castillo chasing now. So far, unable to cut off the ring against the niftier footwork of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And that's the one way you don't want to fight Mayweather. Start chasing him around the ring. Makes you miss. And he makes you pay. Two rounds in the books between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Jose Luis Castillo. Next Saturday night, the Angels, ageless wonder of Andrew Holyfield takes on slick southpaw Chris Bird for a vacant heavyweight title belt. Holyfield now 40 years old, coming off a memorable win over Hasim Rahman, looking to victory over the ultra-elusive Bird as another step toward Evander's dream of retiring as once again heavyweight champ. That's Evander Holyfield against Chris Bird next Saturday night, right here on HBO. Time, just like this. Everything is here for Chuck. He got to take chance. Good. Yes. You, you look yes. good. Yes. Stay focused. All you have to do is stay focused. All the rounds, we have it. Okay. If, if you make it easy to fight, you can make the fight. We got the condition to dictate the fight. So let's go. Nice and calm. And one of the thoughts that Roger Mayweather conveyed to Mayweather is he's going to have to take chances. 
So that perhaps is Mayweather's strategy rather than to make something happen. Wait till Castillo gives him the opportunity to make it happen. Stop, 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 stop. According to CompuBox numbers through round two, 26 of Mayweather's 33 connected punches, jabs, Castillo with a 15 to 7 edge in so-called power shots, although frankly neither man has really landed a big punch in the fight. So far this fight is being fought like one of those rematches in which both fighters know too much about each other. Castillo trying to force the pace now a little bit as he continues, as George and I pointed out, to chase Mayweather. Might ultimately be critical of the fight whether Castillo can actually cut off the ring from time to time or whether he's simply going to follow Floyd around. Now he's got that counter right hand that has been jabbing to the body all night. Mayweather has. He's able to go on top for the first time. That's what a good jab to the body will give you. Castillo with the right hand to the body. Mayweather slips away. Quick little left hook inside by Floyd Mayweather. After the counter right hand. Castillo seemingly more reluctant to throw the left. And this is a good fight because the fight is coming to Mayweather. And that's what you want. Make the fight come to you. Again, Mayweather clocks Castillo with a little left hook. And Castillo, off balance, reeled to the corner. Sometimes when a good boxer, you chase a good boxer, he knows that you're going to hit him with one shot, and he can dodge. Always have in your mind that you're going to hit with three shot combinations, and you get a better chance of landing one shot. And that's what Castillo is doing, trying to get one shot, and he misses. What some viewers will remember from the close of the April 20 fight was Castillo repeatedly pressuring Mayweather against the ropes. Here they fought most of the first three rounds in space, and that is enormously to Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s advantage. That's why Castillo tries to get those hard shots into the body there in the clinch, hoping to take something away from Mayweather's legs. Once again, he goes for one shot at a time. It's not going to work. His corner's got to tell him, plan on four shots. Right hand to punctuate the round for Castillo. His best punch of the fight so far. You, you got to throw combinations. Come on, you got to paint him. We got to work. I'm doing tr trying. Okay, we, we, we work so you so it doesn't go the limit. You gotta faint him and then throw the combination, complete combination, not just one punch. You understand me? Keep the jab work. Okay. Keep the jab work. Keep him faint. Keep the jab work. This has become a fight of one punch and get out of there for Mayweather. Later in the round, we see that Castillo lands one punch, and once again, Mayweather is out of there. <laughs> Copy box numbers in round three. Mayweather 20 out of 36, still not throwing very many punches. Castillo 10 out of 43. His punch output limited by Mayweather's defensive footwork. Harold, how do you have it through <laughs> three rounds? Okay, Jim, I got it 30 to 27. Three rounds to nothing Floyd Mayweather Jr. So let me tell you something when the judges watch a fight like this a rather slow fight okay the one thing that catches their eye and I know from 35 years of judging boxing is the guy that gets off first usually gets in the best shot right, if you watch the action when they square up in front of each other Floyd Mayweather will get off first every time he bops him with a jab he bops him with a straight right hand and he's out of there and that's what's scoring the points three nothing Mayweather Worth noting, of course, that Harold Letterman was among those who scored the first fight for Castillo, not for Mayweather. Mayweather 
trying to land that right hand over the top. Again, in the center of the ring, far from the ropes like this, Floyd Mayweather has big advantages. You're right. The steer's got to keep that, keep Mayweather's back always two or three feet from the, the ropes. He's able to get his combinations off then. Mayweather goes right back to the middle of the ring. The difference in speed abundantly apparent in the center of the ring. Once Mayweather's back is against the ropes, it doesn't mean as much. Mayweather seems to maneuver himself right back in the middle again. Castillo gets him in jail. He lands more than 